What's going on you guys? The Keith Carnes here. Blood on my face from shaving in case you're wondering. And today we are talking about David Von Der Haar's comment about us casual gamers calling us, and I quote, filthy casuals. Now, a lot of people on the internet are talking about this, and some people have made a good point that maybe it was just a joke. Maybe it was just a, a joke, a bad joke, definitely a bad joke if it was. While others are saying they don't think he's kidding, they think he's legitimate, they think that he honestly meant that, and it was just complete disrespect straight from the horse's mouth behind, you know, Black Ops 3. And uh, a lot of people are really upset about this, including myself. I really took offense to this. I'm not, I, I'm very hard to offend. It takes a lot to offend me. Um, you know, I mean, come on, I go to, play, you know, websites like Documenting Reality. I'm not easy to offend, but with stuff like this, it just really hit home with me because I have supported this franchise, series, whatever you want to call it, of Call of Duty since, you know, the first game. I have been playing Call of Duty for over 10 years, and I think that I deserve a little more respect than to be referred to as a filthy casual. Whether it was a joke or not is completely irrelevant. It does not matter. Because... If it was a joke, it was still disrespect. It was still extremely disrespectful. And that's why so many people are angry in the gaming community, specifically the Call of Duty community. Because this is letting us know that this is what a, you know, a game bigwig thinks of the people that keep him a millionaire, that keep that company a billion dollar company. That this is what they think of us. These Call of Duties have been absolutely terrible ever since MW3 in 2011. Um, you know, from, from MW3 all the way to the most recent Advanced Warfare, these games have been absolutely terrible. And with Black Ops 3 looming in the, in the near future, coming out in November in just a, few, in just a couple short months, <laughs> you know, to say something like this, it's just such a new level of disrespect from... from somebody so big like Vondahar that it's almost hard for me to really comprehend what would possess somebody to say something like that, you know, filthy casuals. Now, some people, like I said, would say, oh, it's just a joke. And you guys, there may even be some of you that comment in this video, on this video and say, oh, you know, you're, 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 you know, taking it too seriously and you're being too sensitive. But you know what? I just don't think there's anything funny in that. I think it's extremely disrespectful. We all know that Vondahar has a fucking hard on for MLG gaming. I don't understand it because, like I said, for, first of all, that's the minority of players. Us casuals make up the majority of the people that play online. There's a reason that back in 2010, when I first got Black Ops, you know, in the holiday season area of 2010, there was literally millions of people playing. And now you go and you play, you know, these new CODs and. and there's like nobody it's like a ghost town i mean look if you go play black ops 2 there are tons of people playing black ops 2 still and that game's that game's going on three years old there's a reason it's because these games are just completely garbage so it's like don't sit there and point the finger and say oh you know you feel filthy, filthy casuals you know it's all about mlg no it's the fuck not no it's not I, I, and where the fuck vondahar gets this shit is beyond me because he says some, some of the dumbest shit i've ever heard but this one takes definitely the cake because like i said we uh, casuals are the majority of his market we're the majority of the people that play the game we're the majority of people that buy the fucking game and have made activision the powerhouse that it is because without us, there would be no Call of Duty. There would be no Activision. We are the reason these people have a job, and we're the fucking reason that this, this company is a billion-dollar company and is continually thriving. I'm just extremely disappointed. I, I just don't understand what would possess somebody to say that. And like I said, and I'll be, you know, I, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but, you know, if, even if it was a joke, it doesn't matter. He still said it, and it was still fucking disrespect to the max. And I think it's just too bad. I mean, it's really made me rethink my views. You know, uh, yeah, I mean, it's like Call of Duty's been shit anyway, but Black Ops 3 actually kind of looks like it has a little bit of promise. But I don't know about that. Especially with that kind of an attitude. I don't know. Anyway, guys, this is the Keith Carnes. I hope you enjoyed this little brief video. I just wanted to get my opinion out on this as a uh, former major Call of Duty player. Um, who used to play pff, endless hours of this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, you guys take it easy. Thanks for watching, and if you want, leave in the comments below what you think about this. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next. And, uh, once again, thanks for watching.